Hey, what up, people? I hope y'all are doing great. As you know, it's that time of year again. It's Christmas time. That means your sub boxes are about to be flooded with gift guides, and I want to be a part of that flood. In fact, I want to oh, be the yeah. Noah's Ark of that flood. So in this video, we're going to be going over 10 gifts under 100 bucks for that special techie in your life. I actually picked up several of these as gifts for family and friends. So if you're kin to me, you better shut off this video before I turn this arc oh. around. Kicking it off with the first item, we have memory cards. SD cards and micro SD cards are a great stocking stuffer for damn near anybody into tech or cameras. The ones I'm recommending come from Lexar. Specifically, they're the 1066X micro SD card. Uh, Lexar is a channel sponsor. However, they're also a brand that I've been using for almost a decade. So I stand behind their products. The 1066X is a new micro SD card that comes in capacities up to 512 gigabytes. They're designed specifically for Android phones and mine. They require no special formatting, just slide it into your Android phone and go. Plus the A2 rating means that they're gonna load apps much quicker than your standard micro SD card. Alternatively, they can be used in action cameras, drones, and point and shoot cameras seamlessly, making them one of the most universal cards on the market. They're even designed for harsh environments, more so than other cards on the market. Uh, Speed-wise, they have a V30 rating, meaning that they're gonna be plenty fast for full HD and 4K recordings. Uh, delivering speeds up to 160 megabytes per second for the read and 120 megabytes per second for the write. Like I said, you really can't go wrong with memory cards for techies. It's like buying a mechanic or a construction worker brand new tools. And if you're wondering about the case, it comes from Polar Pro. It's a solid metal case, pretty compact. It's got some heft to it, but overall it's a really nice case. I'll link it in the description in case you're more interested in this than the SD cards. If you have a little someone in your life that wants to get into drones or maybe is a drone enthusiast, the Rise drone could be the perfect gift. It's a mini full feature drone that utilizes DJI technology and it even has a built-in 720p camera. The Tello Rise connects to the Tello app. To use it, simply toss it in the air um, thanks to the throw and go feature. It can also perform eight different flips by sliding your finger on the screen. There are numerous photo and video modes such as circle, 360, and up, up, and away. It's even compatible with smartphone VR headsets to get an immersive POV experience. What makes the Tello Rise such a cool gift is that it can be used safely indoors. So if the person you're shopping for happens to be on lockdown restrictions, they can still get their drone game on. It does this due to the visual positioning system that it uses. It has precise hovering and a fail safe protection for safe landings. You can pick up different color top plates. It just pops right off and then you can replace it if you wanna customize your rise a little bit. Um, it has a 13 minute flight time, so I definitely recommend grabbing extra batteries if possible. But regardless, it's a super fun experience. To go one step further, um, DJI offers a special edition rise that is fully programmable for coding, but it does cost about 30 bucks more. Switching things over to smart home for a minute. You can't go wrong with one of the new Echo Dots. If you know someone invested in the Amazon ecosystem, or if they haven't even invested in smart home at all, this could be an easy way for them to experience it. Even if they don't have any smart home devices yet, it still will link directly to their Amazon account seamlessly. To go along with the new Amazon Echo Dot, they have a kids edition, which I have right here. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing, take a look at it, and go over some of the features that make it unique. All right, so simply just pull back the plastic, pop open the top, and there's the kids edition Echo Dot right there. So this is the Tiger, and it's also available in a Panda. I gotta say it's really fun. Like I like that. That is um that's a really fun echo dot. Is it bad if I want to use this for myself? Like, does that make me like a giant kid? Probably. I don't know. That that's that's really fun. I'd probably go with the panda version myself, but I don't know. I'm feeling it. What you think? So these are gonna be some of the unique things that you can do. So it says, uh, can wake you up with your favorite character alarm or song, um, such as Olaf, that's the example it gave. Parents can use drop-in as like a two-way intercom, which is kind of cool. You could use it to read a book to your kid at night. That's also pretty nice. It can answer different trivia questions, such as what is the first planet from the sun? 
Plus there's a whole list of other things that you can do, like tell me a joke, read me a story, um, uh, play kids music, play a game, open Barbie, open Boss Baby. I mean, Boss Baby? This is definitely something really cool that I think they'll enjoy. I mean, I know people have their privacy concerns with all things smart home, but you know what? Like for me personally, they already have my information. I use a smartphone, it's already out there, whatever. Keeping the same smart home vibe, another thing you can pick up is the new HomePod mini. If you're shopping for someone that has an iPhone, iPad, and a Mac, this is an easy cop. Even if they only have an iPhone, I can guarantee you they're gonna love the HomePod Mini. It has an awesome design with really clean sound. It links seamlessly to your iCloud account and using Siri with Siri shortcuts, you're able to accomplish a lot of stuff using just your voice. And I think that's kind of cool. So I purchased this next item for my wife. And I guess I just ruined any kind of surprise that I had when it comes to this gift. She loves plants and has always wanted her own garden. Problem is, she generally kills anything green that enters our home, but lately she's been pretty good though. We have a few lone survivors hanging around downstairs, so I wanted to get her her own mini hydroponic garden. That way she could easily grow something and maybe help boost her self-esteem when it came to plants. I found this one on Amazon and it's from Click and Grow. It holds three plants at a time and it comes with basil, but Click and Grow do offer other seed pods and seedless pods if you wanna bring your own plants. Supposedly all you need to do is fill it with water and then plug the self-watering planter in. It has a built-in light so it doesn't need sunlight and it has a companion app. I'm excited to see if this thing works or if my wife can still manage to kill these plants. It's like a gamble almost. Hopefully she doesn't. She's gonna kill me for saying this. Most of us have someone in our family that loves to read. The 10th gen Kindle with built-in front light is a great gift if they don't already have a device for reading. I personally have the Kindle Oasis right here which is more expensive, but honestly, I would be just fine with the new entry-level 10th gen uh, Kindle. It does everything you need to read a good book, and I absolutely love my Kindle. Amazon even has a kid's edition, which does cost a little bit more. However, it comes with like a fun cover in the box. If neither one of these suits your needs, for about 129 bucks, you can grab the newest Kindle Paperwhite, which has two times more storage and it's waterproof. This means that you could take a hot bath or lounge out by the pool while reading a good book without any worries. Like I said, I love my Kindle. And if you have someone in your life that loves to read, I can guarantee you they're gonna love it too. Moment makes incredible smartphone accessories. So if you're shopping for someone that loves to use their phone for content creation, check out Moment first and foremost. They specialize in smartphone lenses ranging from wide angles to macros and telephotos, plus everything in between. They have a wide array of cases for various iPhones and other smartphones for mounting their lenses on. If they don't have a case for your specific phone, you can easily pick up the universal adapter, which I have one coming in soon. You might have heard about Moment's Blue Flare anamorphic lens, which is extremely popular. However, they recently released a anamorphic lens with a gold flare, which I have right here. I'll be including it in a sample video once the rest of my gear comes in, so make sure to subscribe for that. Currently, I have no way of mounting it to my iPhone 12 Pro Max or my other smartphones. If smartphone lenses really aren't your thing, Moment also makes really nice ND filters, Cine Bloom diffusion filters, drone accessories, bags, and a lot more. Just check out their website, I'll link it in the description, and you can take a look at their selection. Another great smartphone accessory you could pick up for someone is the Razer Kishi Gaming Controller. It's available with a USB-C connection for Android or a Lightning connection if you're planning on picking this up for someone that has an iPhone. It has a power pass-through plug so you're able to get your game on while charging your phone. That's pretty cool. It's extremely portable, being able to snap into a compact package as you see here, and then you can just toss it in a bag. Thanks to it being plugged directly into your phone and not relying on a wireless connection, the feedback is instantaneous and there's no delay or lag when gaming. It even redirects the sound from the bottom firing speakers to the front, enhancing the overall experience. Honestly, I gotta say, this is the best controller for mobile gaming, easily and an instant buy for anyone that plays a lot of games on their phone.
Speaking of gaming, if you or someone you know was lucky enough to cop a Series S, X, or PS5, a great gift idea is to pick up a custom gaming controller from Modded Zone. They have pre-made controllers ready to go on Amazon for less than 100 bucks, including similar ones to this Gears 5 controller. Uh, you can even head over to their website and create one from scratch, which will set you back a little bit more money, but give you a more unique controller. Serious gamers will love the fact that you can mod them and make them even more ergonomic or functional to ensure you always get them W's every time you play. So uh, definitely check out Modded Zone for custom controllers. Last but not least is one of my most used tech items, and that's this tool set from iFixit. Even if you don't repair phones, this kit is extremely useful for all things tech related. I use it primarily to take apart laptops or put together desktops. It literally comes with everything you need for 99% of tech related tasks, including a Mako driver kit, precision bit driver, opening picks, anti-static wrist strap, uh, metal spudger, a halberd spudger, a jimmy, flex extension, reverse tweezers, angled tweezers, blunt tweezers, three plastic opening tools, a suction handle, and a magnetic project mat. It's definitely a ton of stuff, but as you can see, it folds up into a nice, neat, compact package. Honestly, I can't recommend this kit enough. It's come in clutch numerous times. All right, there you have it. 10 gifts under 100 bucks that will surely make a nerd happy. Let me know if you decide to grab anything on this list. If you do, please consider using my affiliate links found in the description. It helps keep the, uh, the channel going, if you know what I mean. If you have anything to add to this list, make sure to leave it in the comment section below and feel free to use your own personal affiliate link if you happen to have one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I will see you beautiful people in the next video.